up and down, up and down. Well, it may seem more like a brain teaser type of puzzle than an actual cipher type. Route transposition, also known as route tramp, was used by the Japanese Navy in the 1930s. The text was written in katakana into a 10 by 10 grid in diagonals and then read off in columns. In the American Civil War, the Steger cipher created by Anson Steger used whole words in a columnar block type of route. The characteristics of the modern route transposition type are that the letters are written in a complete columnar block and there's a restricted set of routes that we can take. I'll meet you in the training room. Encryption. As mentioned in the intro, route tramp uses a complete columnar block of individual letters. If the message is 100 letters long, then the block can be 5 columns by 20 rows, or 10 by 10. Encryption follows two phases. First, write the message into the chosen block following one route. Second, read the message back out along a different route. Recognized routes are rows, alternating rows, columns, alternating columns, diagonals clockwise, alternating diagonals clockwise, diagonals counterclockwise, alternating diagonals counterclockwise, clockwise spiral, counterclockwise spiral, clockwise reverse spiral, and counterclockwise reverse spiral. Along with the above routes, we can flip the block left for right and or top for bottom. Or, in other words, we can start at any corner, not just the upper left corner. To illustrate each route, I'll use the message to run in circles, not in places. First, remove the spaces and punctuation and make the text uppercase. This is 25 letters long, so we need to use a 5 by 5 square. Our first route will be on by rows. followed by alternating rows. That is, the first row is written on left to right, the second right to left, and then back. Next, we have on by columns. And on by alternating columns. Diagonals can effectively start along the top row or the left column. We can say that starting along the row takes us clockwise, and starting along the column takes us counterclockwise. Use whichever terminology makes the most sense to you. The following is based on what I use. Clockwise diagonals, or diagonals to the right. alternating clockwise diagonals, counterclockwise diagonals, or diagonals downward, alternating counterclockwise diagonals, clockwise spiral, counterclockwise spiral, Reverse clockwise spiral. Reverse counterclockwise spiral.
These are the on-by routes. That is, the pattern used to write the text into the box or grid. To construct the actual cipher, we next pick any of these routes for off-by, starting at any corner, and we write the finished text in groups of fives. To start simple, let's take the on-by rows example and use an off-by columns route. Group in fives, and we're done. Decryption. Decryption is the exact same process, but in reverse. Say we have the following message. Notice that part of our message is still readable. This usually occurs when spirals are combined with rows or columns. But this is not always guaranteed, Occasionally, readable text can just be a coincidence and may not actually be from the plain text, such as the in it fragment. We're told that the text was on by counterclockwise spiral and off by alternating columns. There's one bit of information missing just to illustrate the point. Okay, if the text was off by alternating columns, let's write it back into the block the same way. If we blindly start at the upper left corner for the counterclockwise spiral, we're going to get nonsense. But it should be pretty easy to see that 2 run starts in the upper right corner and runs clockwise. The missing piece of information was that the off by alternating columns started at the upper right corner and ran backwards. Since I wrote in the text starting at the upper left corner, I'll have to apply a clockwise spiral starting from the upper right corner. The point here is that, along with needing to know where the on-by and off-by routes start, we can flip the block left for right or top for bottom between the on-by and off-by routes. And that mirror symmetries mean that more than one pair of routes can give us the same results. Reading our text off with a clockwise spiral, we get To run in circles, not in places. To recap, for encryption, start with the plain text message. Remove the spaces and punctuation. Do a letter count. If the letter total doesn't allow for a complete columnar block, add null padding. Choose the desired available block dimensions, in general taller than wide. Write the text into the block with the on by route. Perform any mirror flips if necessary. Write the text back out using the off by route and group by fives. For decryption, remove the spaces and write the text into the required block using the off by route. Mirror flip if needed. Write the plain text back out by the on by route, and you're done. Note that we can kind of simplify the terminology of the decryption stage as follows. Simply swap the names on by and off by. That is, if encryption used on by rows and off by spirals, then decryption will be on by spirals and off by rows. That way, the names used for the steps for encryption and decryption are identical. It's just the routes that are swapped. If you want to try your hand at solving route transpositions, I pinned a few practice scripts in the comments below. If you want to see some methods for solving route transposition ciphers, you can join the Black Chamber on Patreon to get access for the next video when it comes out, or wait until it goes public on YouTube sometime later. That's enough for now. See you at the next drop point. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.